<clears throat> this is extremely early in the morning on a Saturday. <clears throat> so I'm going to see who's going to come on here. Because this is extremely early on a Saturday morning. I think I'm losing my voice again. See, Ashley, we always up early in the morning. <laughs> What is up with that? What is up with that? Uh, what is up with us being up this early in the morning? On a Saturday. Oh, you don't sleep. Okay, well, I'm going to need you to sleep. I did sleep. Okay, okay. So you're going to go. Hey, Moxie's up too. She always up too with us. Hey, my early morning crew. Hey, my early morning crew. What's up? What's up? How are we? Time to get ready for the day. I think I'm going to be filming my birthday wish list for our premiere tomorrow. So I got to uh, do it and upload it so I can schedule it for y'all so we can talk. See, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold up. So my oldest sister is in town. There's a party for my aunt's 95th birthday. As I call them, the witches of Eastwick are together. And they sent me a little message that they, that they want to come and hang out with them last night. Like, spend the night and have a sister's night. No. We are good. Hell the fuck no. Hello. You did? Yes. I'm trying out some eye creams now. Give me a minute. This this benefit one is good, but I still have another one. Right. Oh, me and my sisters don't hang like that. Oh, I don't talk about them, but no, me and my sisters. No. We've had a slightly contentious relationship for the last few years. It's not really contentious. It's just, you know, detached. That's the best. It's a very detached one. Okay, so my plan was to clean the nip and tuck. Um, she might be talking about this, which is my glycolic fix overnight purifying gel. Or she could be talking about the nip and fab um, serum. Serum that we have. It's the face serum. Okay, so it's the... Hold on, I got that around here someplace too. Hang down. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, here's what it is. She's talking about the Nip and Fab No Needle Fix Serum. This is a real nice serum. It's not too expensive. It's um and it's it's a cream based one and it feels very nice on the skin. Like you know how some serums can be like bite? This has no bites. It's a very gentle. Yep, so the Nip and Fab No Needle Fix Serum. Like I said, I am trying out one. I'm, I'm about to get off of this one, this eye cream, and I have a Dermalogica one I want to try to see which one I like. I, but what was I looking for? Oh, I know. Why is this here? I got to throw this in. This is Miss Angelica. I see you just always up in the lab, girl. Um, Where's my little spray bottle? I have a spray bottle that I use to clean my brush. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it really is a good one for, like, the price. Because that thing is super inexpensive. So, yeah, I like it a lot. The reality is, is you don't have to spend that much money on stuff nowadays. There's enough companies that make really good quality products at decent prices. I mean, now some things you might want to spend a little more on. But you really don't have to. Because I'll be honest with you. I'm still trying to figure out can I find a Sunday Riley a Good Jeans alternative. Because at $105 a bottle, it's a, little, it's a little pricey. Oh, I was like, why do I look so dark? Because I don't have my light on. I'm like, why do I look so damn dark? Why do I look like I'm in the dark? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And it's in it. Hi, right? Hi, I'm usually up at this time of day anyway. I'm trying to uh, wash a few brushes so I can do my eyes today. Do a spot cleaning before I do a for real clean. Because, uh, yeah, my brushes is looking a little tired. Well, it's not so much that I have some, but not the ones I want. Oh, let me clean this off just a little bit. Let me do that. Ah, there we go. We are live and in color now instead of that filter. I was using a filter, y'all, called a dirty lens. I was using that filter. I was just using a filter, that's all. Oh, man. Okay. Well, okay. So being in that group, right? That dirty lens filter. It's making me look all glowy and everything. Okay. So from what I understand, okay, first off, let's just say this. There's this, um, there is a, y'all know about the dirty lens filter. Don't lie. Listen, the Samsung now does this. I don't know if the iPhone does it. You might want to clean your lens. <laughs> you take it your way before you put your selfie. But I think it's sometimes it's like, look, you might have a better, it basically says, you might have a better picture if you would clean your lens. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Samsung, you coming for me. All right, Essay. I'm like, bitch, what if I wanted to be dirty? What if I wanted that dirty lens filter? What if, right, the galaxy tells you that. Why? What if what if I wanted that dirty lens filter though? You know what I mean? Why why you why you messing with my art artistry? Why are you messing with my artistry? Okay, so anyway, let's talk about this. Okay, so I have noticed that there is this um with the professional makeup artists, they have a thing about YouTube beauty influencers and IG beauty influencers and things like that. And IG make, they have a big thing about that. They, they, they have a serious disdain for it. And it's like, yeah, they don't know what they're doing. And they're telling these people. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think part of the disdain is, is because people getting paid big money and you out here hustling like a motherfucking hoe. And you're not, and it took you all this hustle to get to the point that you're at, and you feel like this is too easy. I, I that's the impression I get. That's that's the first thing because there's this whole because there's all these little conversations about yeah and these beauty influencers and that that that. Well, the first thing is is that you are a professional makeup artist. You know, you're not a professional makeup artist in there, and I agree. I agree to a certain extent that. There are a lot of people that are calling themselves makeup artists based on them, you know, playing in makeup. I would never tell anybody um, that I am a that I am a makeup artist ever, ever, ever. But see, here's the thing with that is that don't be mad because y'all can't work, work the game like they did. Because you all are doing your beauty artistry, whatever. That's your that's your lane. Don't be mad because you're not gonna sit up here and make all these videos. You're not gonna sit here and do this kind of stuff. And the other thing is, since you are Mr. Beauty, you know, we only use you should only use these type of products, you should, then you're not you we are in separate realms. I talk about all kinds of products based on what you know the home use. You're the artist. So be the fucking artist and stop being mad because people have figured out a way to make money in beauty. See, because before, um, no, um, no, they are mad about that. Good morning. Dee Dee, oh my God, you're in here. I must be up early in the morning. Uh, no, I think, no, that, that is that. There is that, Moxie, like they're meant, you know, they have a thing. But I also think part of the issue is that the money that is being made by beauty influencers because they have a serious disdain for them. And I get it. If you know people talking about their, their makeup artists, I get that. Because, you no, know, I ain't no damn makeup artist. And I do know, and I will say this. There's a lot of women who run around trying to be makeup artists but have not gone to school for it. I get it. That's like, you know, hairstylists. Um, good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I get that because 
there are so what they were they were saying was that you know using these um inexpensive products and you don't know how and they're like they look good on pictures but they don't have the long run and they're not doing for this and this but but you know what the thing is is that most of these people who are caught they're talking about it from a serious um professional photography uh um from doing it from a from working on a set and everything and that these products are not good enough to be on a set because they're not made for that type of thing that's probably true. And and okay, and so this is where the conversation came up from. Apparently, Car there was something on Good Morning America with Cardi B and her makeup artist. And her makeup artist used Morphe's James Charles palette. And they were livid. Livid. Livid, livid, livid. Like, you know, this is not a, a professional palette. You know, this, this, and other. And, you know, you need to use professional products. And they were saying that the person probably is getting paid by Morphe and blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, they went in. And so that's where this whole thing about the cheap makeup. So I get it when you're talking about on that level. Um, right, right. Right, right, cause right, cause that mess he put on Tati was insanely ter terrible. She looked. I'm sorry, I only saw a few pictures of it. And it was like, oh, she's like that. See, that's what I'm saying. All these people need to stop lying to people. They need to stop lying to people, cause that was not. No, I don't think she's ugly. I don't think Tati's ugly at all. I think she's a pretty woman, but that was bad. He showed you how over, how overdone makeup can be. So, so it was like, and that's true because I, you know, when I put on makeup, I'm not putting on makeup to go, but I talk about makeup for, but they also say, you're right. Yeah. Okay. But no, he could give her the J-Lo glow up in a complimentary shade for her. See, he used he used what he uses for J Lo, but she's not the same complexion. She's not the same complexion, so take it down a notch so that it looks good on her. That tells you he ain't that great. Because he should have gave her a J Lo glow that looked good on her. Not J Lo's glow. There's a difference. Right, that's exactly that's what I'm saying. Right, that's exactly what I'm saying. Cause I, I, I think Tati's very pretty. So yeah, Dee, Dee what's up? What's up? What you doing, girly? Since you in here, oh no, well you go ahead talk. What am I using under my eyes? It's the Benefit. It's potent eye cream. This is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. It's not that expensive. It's like thirty nine dollars. You had to shit forever because it's a lot in here. It's like one ounce. No, it's a half an ounce. Hey, Amy. Yeah, that Donald Trump tan was on ten. Was on ten. Yes. Hey. Oh yeah. The the early morning that says what time you're on. Hi, Stephanie. Good morning. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, so, but my thing is they, they have a thing also about beauty influencers talking about makeup in general. I'm, I'm in his group. It's not just about the, the artistry and everything. It's about you even rate, you know, doing, um, oh, okay, well, come on, Didi, come on in. Um, but it was also, but they talk a lot about just in general, you know, doing review, makeup reviews and stuff. The, the, a lot of them do have a problem with all of it and like i said i think part of the problem is is that they don't like the fact that these coins are going they that these coins are being disseminated because let's be honest for a long time makeup was a very hidden and very um it was a very an exclusive club right he has a problem with everything you know but it was a very exclusive club you know, if you was a makeup artist, you was this. And, you know, we was all low and we didn't know shit. And, you know, we barely looked, we looked a hot mess. And now, 
Yeah, I, I agree with him to a certain extent. Like, I agree if you're gonna if you're gonna charge me one hundred and fifty dollars to do my face, you should have good products. Um, yes, he's too focused on this. I think that you should you should spend some money on your products. If you think that you should be doing me a high end face, then I need high end products. I agree with him on that. I agree that, but and he's you know. And I agree that if you're going to do things like bridal makeup and stuff, you should take a class. You should um, know the products that will last long because something that lasts long for a, this for this might not be what you need for somebody who's going through, you know, who's going to be doing their whole bridal thing. Now, the let's be real. Let's just be honest. Um, eyeshadow is going to look good. If you have a nice palette, if you if you know this palette works all day. <laughs> Are you talking about the chest hair lips? I'm saying, but that, that chest hair was too much on him. I couldn't watch this shit because all I saw was that damn chest hair. He scared me. <laughs> and then it didn't help Bella saying what I was thinking. No, and you should. Listen, you should take a makeup class. If you're going to be doing other people's face, all that kind of stuff, you do, you should take a makeup class. That way you got the piece of paper behind you. It's always good to have a piece of paper behind you that says, I have been trained because that gives you validity. You know, so, you know, I, I, I agree with that. I think that you should. I like it because listen, people be talking about you. Oh, you. I've had people contact me. Oh, you could do makeup. Uh, right. And I'm like, I ain't no, I ain't no makeup artist. I ain't no makeup artist, y'all. I ain't no makeup artist. Cause I've had people tell me that you know, oh, you should do. I said, now nah, I could teach you how to put on makeup for you. I can teach you that with your makeup, but I'm not a makeup artist. Um, and I would never, I would never claim to be a makeup artist because I ain't. Not at all. And I, cause I'll be honest with you. I ain't trying to do all the sanitation. I ain't trying to do all that. I ain't trying to have a kid over here for people. No, this is this is what I like to do. I like to talk about makeup. I like to review it. I like to swatch it. I like to put it on my eyes. I do all this shit. But am I but am I trying to go out there and hustle? Right. But am I trying to go out there and hustle? Hell the fuck no. No, I'm not trying to hustle out there like that. Not trying to hustle like that. Not at all. Because it is a hustle. I mean, let's be real. It is a serious hustle. I was just trying to see what the hell this is. I got over here. So it's a serious hustle, and you got to be ready for that hustle. And that's not my lifestyle. That ain't me. I'm not going to be out here. Listen, I'm too damn old for that shit. I am too damn old. Hey, True Sugar, I am too damn old. But I can talk about products from me using them, from me, you know, that. Oh, is it? See, I don't think it is here in Illinois. Because I know too many people who call themselves makeup artists. Right, see, I know that I'm not morning, can't land. Um, that I'm not gonna be sitting up here, you know, trying to do all that. I'm not doing all that. Let me get it, let me hit up under here. Oh, oh, they just started peeling DE. The peel goes on for about two weeks. I'm just I'm just getting into the peel. The peel is just settling in, it's just starting. It's getting gross though. <laughs> it's getting gross. Let me uh beat this stuff in my skin. Oh yeah, it takes about two weeks for it to work. It starts peeling and then it really takes off. And then I don't know, maybe it won't be so bad because it's I did it once. 
I'm wondering if maybe I don't have that much, but it has been winter and I have not, and I have been terrible with my feet. So right now my feet are probably like got about, I'm telling you, it's probably got like a shoe size worth of skin that needs to be off of here. Just a, like a slight shoe size, you know, just a slight one. I'm just saying. I got a, um, I have a new moisturizer and serum. I got to uh, finally uh, do my review of it. Yeah. But, uh, yes, yeah, so. Something's in my eye. Hold on for a second. Yeah. So, yeah, the foot peel is just going on right now. It just began. I would tell y'all something really gross, but I won't. Because y'all be like, oh, Lou. Yeah, you yeah, you still be in the middle of the foot mask at that point. Right, right. Exactly. I'm telling you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go from a seven to a six and a half. Like that. Um, yeah, because you, you would still be peeling. They'd be like, what the hell is going on with her feet? It, it would drive them insane. <laughs> yeah. It would drive them insane. Listen, I said, Ashley wanted a picture. I sent her one. And this is water with a little lemon or some cucumber. Like, um, normally I try to keep a pitcher of cucumber water in the fridge. It just helps to, like, cleanse your system. Like, th they say, like, if you start your day with a nice water, like 32 ounces of water. Normally I do warm, but if I do my cucumber water, it's cold. Um, with a little lemon in it, um, it helps to cleanse your system and keeps you, um, it starts your day hydrated. Yeah, just after you get it done, then go get do your foot mask. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's good because it begins your day on a hydration level. And you've gotten all in at least 32 ounces of water. Girl, I, ain't, I don't need no infuser. I got a I got a pitcher. That's called my infuser. Yes, it really does. I um, Like I said, I try to make sure I drink at least 96 ounces of water a day. And when I don't, I know because my hands dry out horribly. And it helps with your, um, how many lemons and cucumbers? Okay, so when I do a gallon of water, girl, I just got a plastic pitcher. Um, a gal I have a gallon pitcher. I usually get a one nice size cucumber, put it in there, and then I put... Um, one, I squeeze one lemon in it. That's it. That's all I need. Be fresh, refreshing and beautiful. And then just let it soak overnight. <clears throat> Put it, start it at night so that you can. Uh -huh. Right. <clears throat> and, and that's the first thing you need to do for your, your face anyway. Because everybody's worried about the lines and shit. Hydrate your skin. Drink some water. I'm glad you do. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> I don't drink pop. I rarely drink juice. Like I have to be in the mood for some juice, but I don't drink a lot of juices. I, if I do something, I'll do a smoothie here and there, <clears throat> but mostly I drink water. So like when they're talking about, oh, you're going to have to drink water on a diet. I don't care because that's pretty much all I drink anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't do all that mason jar mess. I just make a big old gallon of it and pour it in a cup. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, yeah, I do have the mason jars. <laughs> this is from... Honestly, I have these left over from when I was making homemade. Um, at least 96 ounces. I drink... So I have this I have this in my head, Dee Dee. Um, so I know that's like what... So I drink like three liters, about three liters a day. Um, okay, so this is left over from when I was making homemade sangria and selling it. So I used to make homemade sangria and I would sell it during the summertime because I make a seriously powerful sangria. And so I was selling it by the court. And then I was doing... Um, and then I was making um, sangria pops. You could buy pop, freeze pops. I was making a white one and a red one. Yeah. 
<clears throat> See, the problem with me and sangria is I only make large batches of it, so I don't really have a recipe just for one, you know, for you to make for yourself. So, the okay, those came about because of me giving parties. And so whenever I did a party, whenever I do it, whenever I do a party, it was like, okay, so, we, okay, I'm back. Um, so that came about Ash from me doing parties. And so I always wanted to have like a nice punch during the party for people to drink. So I started making sangria. But when I make sangria, it's a huge amount. All right. Excuse me, sugar. Have a nice day. Yeah, so I drink about three, at least three, I drink like three liters of water a day. So I start out with one and then I do throughout that way. It's not as like, it doesn't feel as like, oh, I got to think about water. I got to think about water. I got to think about water. So I drink the first one when I first get up and then I do while I'm at work, <clears throat> I try to drink another liter of water and then, um, yep, I make junk. Yes. I make tub size amounts. I have, a, I used to keep a, um, a bin, a small bin. And um, and then I drink some. I don't as much as I used to. It's, it doesn't process as badly as it used to. Um, I used to have to pee a lot, but I think because I've been drinking that much so so for so long now, it doesn't affect me that way as much. So yes, I do pee a lot, but not as much as I used to. Yeah, in the beginning, you're going to pee a lot. A lot. But now, no, not as much. Now it's just kind of like regular. But, okay, I got a funny story. Right, right. I was peeing every five minutes. Okay, so I got a funny story. Since we're talking about things, th things, yeah. Yeah, I pretty much got clean kidney. Because I've been drinking primarily water for years. I finally got it up to the point where I'm drinking a lot of water. But I've always... Because even my kids drink a lot of water. Because when they were young, that's pretty much... that I didn't... I would make Kool-Aid and stuff like that sometimes. But I wasn't... Like, I'm not a pop drinker. Um, right. So I, I was like... I didn't, I'm not a pop drinker at all. You very rarely see me drink pop. And I do, and when I have pop, I can only drink a few sips of it because it makes me, uh, gives me um, hiccups. So I can only have a few sips of it before I'm having the hiccups because I rarely drink it. Um, and like my kids, my, my son, my kids, they drink pop sometimes, but they don't drink it like the level of like most 20 somethings. They drink more water than most. Because that's what we drank at home, you know, it was like we had lemon water, so, so, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it will in the beginning, but let me tell y'all, okay, since we're having this moment, let me tell y'all the funniest story. So at one point, I need to get a new one, I had a juicer, somebody gave me a juicer, right, so I'm a juice. Oh, no. No, it happens. Until you get used to it, and it's going to take a while before you get used to it. And let me tell you something. The first time you do cucumber lemon water, if you have never done it, do it on the weekend when you're going to be at home for a minute. Because it's gonna, it's gonna, it might clean your system out. I'm just telling you. It might clean your system out. So the first time I juiced, the first time I juiced, you know, I was on my way to work, Right? So, baby, yes, it is. So, I'm, you know, now the first, I've done smoothies and stuff, but I will say juicing, the only reason why I don't juice is just too much work. But, so I, I juice. I made this juice. It was really tasty because one of the juices I love to make is apple, carrot with a little ginger and a little lemon. Yes. And a little orange in there. Oh, ooh, that's a great juice. But anyway, I might get another juice. Okay, that was another conversation with myself. Okay, so I made this juice, drank it, and I gave myself enough time before I left the house, I thought. So, you know, because when you drink, the first time you drink some fresh juice that you just made, it is going to clean you out. 
I'm just letting you know now. It's going to clean you out, right? So I'm like, okay, it's been like 45 minutes since I drank it. I'm, about out. I'm good. I'm good. So now at this point, I used to walk a mile to the train because I was cheap. So I would, and it was, you know, that was my exercise. So I would, I would walk a little bit over a mile to my train. And now, mind you, I'm catching the 6.47 a.m. train. So it's early morning. It's early in the morning when I leave the house. Oh, yeah, it's good. Right, <laughs> right, Monty, you know where this is going. <laughs> so I'm walking. And then I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. So there's a, luckily there was a McDonald's. It opened up 6 a.m., you know, the, so I go to the bathroom. And I hated it because, you know, it's a public bathroom. But I figured, like, this is the beginning of the day. Nobody's been in here. Okay, I'm okay. You know, layers and layers, I'm okay. Keep walking. Now I get almost to my train. And I'm like, what is going on? Now, mind you, I'm on a commuter train. That I'm going to be sitting on this train for at least 40. I sit on the train for, like, 40 minutes to take me to the suburbs. And then when I get off the train, I got to walk another mile to get to work. I'm like, I am not going to make it. I am not going to make it. And I had to, luckily there was a little coffee shop by the train that was just opening up. I missed my train. I was late for work because I, I wouldn't have made it. I had no, it had been bad. Now, this is a funny story, though, for real. Years ago, my dumbass friend, my best friend, my friend, she takes some detox tea. She took some detox tea. I don't know what time she took the damn detox tea, but it was during the day. You know, you're supposed to take detox tea at night, right? She takes the detox tea during the day at work. So we used to take the train home. The train was a 45-minute ride. Yeah, it was about 45 minutes. So we get on the train. At, yes. So we get on the train to go home. Now it's we're sitting on the train first, and as we, as we're sitting on the train, she goes, as it's about to pull off, she's like, "Oh my God, the tea is working," and I'm looking at her like, "What? What do you mean the tea is working?" She's like, "I took some detox tea. You know, I thought I needed it, but I said, well, what time are you taking?'" She, said, "Well, I took it to work at this time of day." I said, "What the? What? Why? What?" So she's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "Oh shit." And which is really what was happening. And so then my cousin winds up getting on the train with us on the next stop. And so by now she's just sitting on the train like this. And now she has closed her eyes. Because she is focusing on keeping herself together for this ride home. <laughs> and so he's talking because like we usually talk and she's just like, yes. She's very calm, very calm. She's giving the calm face. And at one point, I saw this one little tear come down her eye. Like she was like really, really working hard. And my cousin's looking like, so, and my cousin's looking like, what's going on? I said nothing. She's not feeling good. She's not feeling good. She finally made it home. She was okay, right? But I'm on the train not trying to laugh at her because I know what's going on. And I'm thinking you're a bad friend if you laugh at her. But it was fun as hell because just she looked like she looked like she was meditating though for real. She was in the med straight full meditation like, and she was deep breathing. <laughs> I was like, I'll teach your dumb ass to do that shit again. That's how you are with your your good friends. You say that'll teach your dumb ass. Man, she had the Buddha's calm. She, you couldn't say nothing to her. Yes, it will start helping with your face. Didi, it really will. Once you start really drinking water on a consistent basis, you will see a big difference. And you're going to be like, damn, this is all it took? I mean, because, yes, we use products. Yes, it's good to use products and stuff. But also, Didi, okay, here's my question. Are you doing a, a glycolic regimen? Hey, Gypsy, if you are starting to get that kind of stuff too, um, but you're overseas, so I, look for something, a glycolic acid toner and a glycolic acid um, cleanser. Use it about twice a week 
promise you it'll be perfect okay glycolic acids are just let me see can i find one of mine i'll show you one of mine mario badescu makes them and it's just and this is the one i have mario badescu makes a really good one right um this is called the radiance toner by derma e i don't know if you can get derma e overseas um, but this is a really good one. And what it does is they, they work on resurfacing your skin, but nip and fab is from England. So you should try them. This I live by. This is a glycolic fix overnight purifying gel. This is, this is the shit. You put this on, you, you got a little pimple coming on, put this on overnight. It's going to be gone. Okay. Get the Mario by Descu. Glycolic acid cleanser and toner. And if you can find the nip and fab glycolic fix overnight purifying gel, this is my this is my shit. This is my shit. This is my shit right here. So what the way you use it, Didi, is you don't you probably don't even need to use it more than twice a week. Um, wash with it at night, at night only, at night, and then put the toner on and then put this on afterwards. And what I normally do is I put this on and then I put an oil over it. So once this sinks in, I put an oil on and that's it for the night. And I promise you, it will clear your skin up. Glycolic acids resurface and they, you know, and they um, get rid of the dead skin cells and everything. And, um, oh yeah, and you got to use an SPF the next morning after using the acid, um, the glycolic acids. Um, but I promise you, your skin will feel amazing after you do this. Well, yeah, you're supposed to do this. Okay, can I be real though? I don't know. I don't. I gotta get better with my SPF. Which, by the way, where is my damn SPF? Where is my SPF at? Oh well, I'll find it. You know, it's a it's a byproduct of being a a woman of color because we really don't think about SPS because I mean, let's just be real. We we don't because we we don't burn as right because we don't burn that way. So. We like, oh, I don't, you know. And I mean, let's be honest. We didn't really think about those things. Yes. Well, you know, I, I do my, I do them in times that you could come in on weekends because I have a tendency. I kind of like these early morning chats on Saturdays and Sundays. These are kind of cute. These are kind of cute. Which then means that the people overseas can see them live because it's your evening where you know when i normally go live is early morning for y'all y'all sleep see for me um nowhere not this moment i'm gonna be putting on makeup to film in a little bit uh because i need to film my birthday wish list i okay so i have officially decided um, did you, the primer potion, which, which, uh, primer potion? Oh, you got the, um, Urban Decay. Yeah, I got a bunch of that in here that I barely use. But I did get that, and I got the, um, see, I tan. Oh, I tan. I tan really nicely, too. I have a great tan in the summertime. So here's the deal. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a tanner. I am a tanner. Did you all see, Dee Dee, um, I did not notice how fast that thing went until it did. But, okay, let me tell you why I went so fast on that. Because I was frustrated. And by going fast, they had more colors than the paint pots. They had like six of them. I bought. They had six of them online. They had, I thought, I saw six of them. Yeah, they had more than two. No, I went online and bought them. I bought them online. I bought Painterly and Soft Ochre because I'm pale. No, if you went on... Whatever said on the if you went on the, the website, you could get all the colors. Uh uh, uh uh. It was on. Uh -uh. Nope. It was online. The thing about it is, and I've noticed, um, like when they do the Ulta Twenty One Days of Beauty, 
Um, a lot of times they have restrictions in the store that don't have anything to do with online. Because, um, like I went in one time to buy something in the store and I had to buy twice. I was like, well, y'all gonna have to sell this to me twice because they had a limit on how many you could buy. I was buying, I think the buxom ones. Um, there was like the buxom, uh, lip liners and, um, I wanted six of them and they were like, well, you can only get three. What? Okay, well, let me tell you how it is about to roll out. Because I don't want to wait. I sure did. Listen, when stuff is half off, you're supposed to buy at least six. At least four. Because that's like buying two. You know, you got to do your math right. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm buying six this time. My bucks, my bucks some lip glosses. You got to buy in multiples because that's the whole point of half price. You got to buy it. Right. I did save something. I saved because if I had bought two, if I had spent the same money, I'd only have two and now I have four. So I did save. Salud to your health. Hey, Lily. Hey, Lily. Swear, I, that's, that's my math. But honestly, okay, so here's the thing I was talking about. I was about to say. And when it comes to my eyeshadow palettes, I'm kind of, okay, whatever. Yeah, I definitely got to get my Max, Mac Fix Plus. I don't want, I don't know if I want the Smashbox Primerizer. Um, the Mac Fix Plus. I think I want that, that Tarte um, face palette because y'all don't say a word, y'all know. We're talking about what we want on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty right now. Um, yeah, that's true. And for half price, it's worth it. Um, uh, but see, with the 40% off, I'll be like, okay, it ain't going to kill me if I wait. See, okay, I did not get the chocolate gold. I, do I doubt if I get the toasted palette. Because I've looked at the toasted palette time and time again, and I just will not buy it. So I feel like, why, why am I going to buy it now just because it's $19.50? Am I actually going to use it? And that's what I'm starting to do now. So now um, I've seen some indie brand stuff that I think I want more than the big brands. Um, and that's just being honest. I was looking at some palettes. I said, well, I like that better. I like that better. Because what's the point of, you know, it's like, okay. Right, exactly. I mean, I like the packaging and everything, but it's like, am I actually going to use it? No. That's why I didn't get the chocolate gold, because the chocolate gold went half price before, and I didn't pick it up. So I'm like, should I get it? So I let it go, because I was like, nah, because there's some other stuff I want. You know, it's some other stuff. Oh, okay. I bought... I bought the new festival palette <laughs> and I bought all of the mini Zodiac palettes. Yeah, all the mini Zodiac palettes. So I bought the new festival. I bought the Aries palette. I bought, yeah, I bought all four of the little mini Zodiac palettes. It, they, it was just too much. I couldn't help myself. It just happened. I don't know what happened. It just just happened. It, it, was, it wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> I'm trying, um, the Aries palette looks pretty decent. It's more red toned things like, let me just pull it up. Let's pull it up and look at it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I like it. So since I hadn't, didn't have any of them, I was like, okay, let's just go and get them all. Let's just, just get them all. Let's just make this happen right now. Yeah. I still want some other palettes to play with for comparison. Did you? Oh, boy. I do want to live overseas. But I like, like, for instance, okay, so here's some palettes that I really want. I still want to try that Violet Ball Sugar Crystals. 
Right, right. I'm collecting them too. You got okay. Y'all know I'm a zodiac person anyway. I'm a zodiac person. I'm a love cards person. Um, oh, you talking about the XL2? Definitely, you know, I want to be, I want to be either be in Paris or Barcelona, Spain. Paris or Barcelona, Spain, darling. I'm telling. It's just, I'm still not sold on them. I'm still not so. Why is this gold crap still in my hand? Let me find it. Let me find it. Oh, here it is. Even though the Pisces isn't as Piscean as I would like it to be, because we're talking about the fish. And, um, uh, okay, so here it is. So what do you think about it? Oh, you know, I was going to ask you about Makeup Shack, kid, Ashley. So there it is. Let me see. Can you see it? So it's a really orangey, reddish toned palette thing. I would like the little pink thrown in, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be okay with that. I'm curious to see. Um, I okay. I'm gonna try them, Dee Dee. They're on my list. So wait a minute. They, I'm about to order from them. I'm not gonna get the Naughty Nights. Um, hi Tanya Morris. Hello Princess. I don't know. I have nothing. I don't know. That's a YouTube thing. Yeah, because I was going to order some, so I'll let you know. Matter of fact, I'm going to order some probably this week. I was going to order two, but then I looked at somebody else. Who was I looking at? And they had some cute palettes, too, that was inexpensive. Because Rue Cosmetics is very inexpensive. I like them for that. <laughs> so I want to try some of them. And I've been looking at other indie, smaller indie brands, and I'm like, they got some cute stuff out here. And I know everybody's like, oh, they get their stuff from China. Oh, they get their stuff from China. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. I mean, we go all. Here's my thing with that. I'm gonna need y'all all to calm down on that because a lot of the raw materials come from China. So, so yeah, it could be made in Italy, but you don't know where they get the fucking raw materials. So shut up talking to me. I'm so tired of people. I mean, people always got something to say just to just to try to make you feel less than. Oh, well, they ain't got that from China. You you see I came for you. You you see I came for you on that one. I was like this chick right here. This chick right here. She she playing with us. I have a project paying y'all even though I didn't anticipate it. Thank you. Because we assume, here's the thing, we assume that they're making they're they're using the problem a lot of brands are using the same exact products. We just assume they're using something high brand because they've attached this higher price point to it. We just assume because of that. And then we're like, oh, because we don't know. We don't know where they're getting them. Yeah, it's all marketing. I mean, it's all about brand recognition, right? So it's all about the brand recognition. And so we get caught up in the brand, you know. Exactly. Right? Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And that's it. So I'm going to get, um, so I'm going to try them because they're, um, what is it? It's like $20 or $25 for free shipping here in America. Right. But I'm just saying, like, we assume that when they probably, I mean, like, for instance, L'Oreal owns Lancome. L'Oreal is the owner of Lancome. So if you don't think they're using the same product, the raw ingredients in the Lancome products that they are in the L'Oreal products, you stupid. I'm just being honest. They're you. come on now. Yeah, see, I'm thinking I want, um, yeah, 
Exactly. Hi, Princess Got Chops. How are you? Here's the thing. It's fine too, but I'm saying, I'm not saying that you shouldn't because Lord knows I like high end. Um, oh, I will get in touch with them then. Um, but it's fine to buy what you want to, but I can't stand it when people like, for instance, like the Kevin James Bennett's and everything, when they're saying those things about, oh, this isn't as good as this because of the higher price point in this, you don't know that. You can't possibly say that. You say that because this is what you have been told is better. But because in your mind, this is all better and it works better. You don't know that shit. You just go on and because this is what they say are the pro, pro this is the pro products and this is the pro products. And this is, come on. There are pro products that are just, that are inexpensive that work just as well. But you, you know, but because we are conditioned to believe that this this should cost this much if it costs this much it, it must be better it must be using higher quality um well i've had it for so long though this this ain't old this is old as hell this old as hell i'm just gonna take it out i mean i've had this forever forever, forever. so i'm just gonna take it out and i'm going to put it in something Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly. They are. Right. I got to say profusion is coming because back in the day, prof profusion was dust. Let's be honest. Profusion was dust. But now they have come up and their stuff is nice. No lie about it. And I'm not saying like, for instance, like the good, like the quality, some things don't have a better quality or different, um, but to, to discount these brands. Yes. Yes, it did get it. Yes, it did get, yes, it did. I was mad too. Exactly. I'm sorry. Who are you? You knew. Come on in and say hello. I, I missed your name. Let me see what your name is. Let me see. Can I see your name? Come on. Simple Temple. Okay, I see it. Yes, they did. Yes, they did cancel. I was like, look, we all thought we was getting a come, we was getting a come up, come up. And they got our asses. They was like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. This is not real. No, ma'am. You all are not getting this. Well, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't say that often, but I'm going to say it to you right now. Anybody new in here, don't forget to subscribe. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I ain't on one. I ain't gonna lie. Let's just be honest. ColourPop makes some of the best. Well, you make sure you comment. Um, some of the best. They they have the best consistent quality of eyeshadows out there. No, they are right. You have your live cherry pop. You know cherry. Okay. I was about to say something. I was about to say something ignorant. Okay, but I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. <laughs> okay. I want that spring release. I'm actually going to get some super shock shadows because I like those kind of things for the summertime. Other than this crap that I got yesterday. This mess is terrible. This is going into my hat box of disappointments, along with that ugly ass gold makeup thing they had. Whatever. Okay. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm done. Oh, let me spray my face. I'm telling. Okay, now real talk. This facial mist is everything. This one, I this is a. $4.99 or $5.99 Walgreens Hydrating Facial Mist. This thing is nice. When I buy stuff like this, I always check the... Um... Yes, this one is from Walgreens. This is nice. Um, and actually, I got a really good glycolic cleanser from, uh, from Walgreens. I'm trying to... This one has like... 
castor oil, rose flower water, chamomile water, cucumber extract, um, aloe vera leaf juice. I mean, this is a really good toner for $5.99 facial mist. Um, I said I'm going to buy a couple of the um, more expensive ones. But that multi state Right. Yeah, Walgreens is coming for folks. Um, it's got grapeseed extract, hyaluronic acid in it. It's a nice toner for $5. $6, I think it is. Right. Well, maybe one day I will go into the serious one that I took Lisa and Karen in and show y'all the flagship... I know, I think they have them in different places now, but you know, um, Walgreens is based in Chicagoland. They're based in Deerfield, Illinois. So a few years ago, they took one of the, the one that's downtown, like this on Randolph and State, and they redid it. Have you, oh, I'm a Miss Addict too, girl. Princess, I am. Um, and they redid it. And yeah, yeah, Amazon's got their line of skincare. I want to try, listen, I want to try that. I do want to try the Good Molecule store. I'm going to try that whole set. Yeah, 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 because they're based here in Chicago, so they did this one first. Have you been to the flagship? Okay, I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to film this Walgreens. I'm going to go in there late at night because they open 24 hours. I'm going to go in there, what, like, early morning or something, I'm going to show y'all. Listen, yeah, they came out with it. I'm not impressed with the villains. You know what? Um, I am not impressed with it. I think the villains is okay, Dee Dee. I'm not, I'm not dying for that one, but I wasn't, but the princess one didn't do nothing for me either. I think like, for instance, when you put a, um, and the lipsticks piss me off because they look almost the same. It's like, come on, y'all could done better than this. Like, I thought Ursula should have had like a deep purpley one because in the vid in the movie she's got this kind of purpley vibe to her, you know. Where she so so I was looking for the villains to be more. Listen, Cruella should have had black lipstick. Did they do Cruella? Because if they did Cruella, Cruella definitely should have had black lipstick. Cruella Deville deserved her black. But I thought Ursula, based on her being, you know, in that murky area of the, and her look was kind of purpley, I would have expected a deep, deep purple lipstick for her. <laughs> McDonald's and Pizza Hut. <laughs> okay, seriously, Glam Light, Glam Light. Speaking of Pizza Hut and stuff, Glam Light is now, besides doing the taco pizza, the taco palette they're gonna have slices of pizza palette i like glam light but i just i'm too old for that kitschy ass shit i am too old i am not gonna have slice of pizza palettes around here i'm not gonna have a pizza palette yeah yes that's what i'm saying if they had went with the corresponding heroes i agree yes they're doing a pizza palette i'm in bombshell cosmetica with all this I'm like, come on. No, I don't want that. Yes, I'm getting me a red light. Yes, Gypsy, I am planning. That is on my list of things to get. So I am planning on getting a red light. We're going to do it for real. I'm going to do it on camera. How do they do my boot thing like that? You come in and then it t kicks me out. I'm not getting that cookie palette. Hey, Monique. <laughs> now, they got, no lie, I will get a wine palette, though. No lie, I will get a, line, a wine palette. I was looking at them cocktail palettes at Rue Cosmetics. Now, I was like, okay, I, I might have to get that. I might have to get that. But I will say this. They, called, they named them that, but they didn't make the, the shapes and everything. The shape thing is irritating me. The shape part is irritating me. I'm like, why we gotta do all that? Why we gotta do all that extra ass shit? Oh, let me wake up B. I don't understand it. Hold on, let me tell this child she gotta get up for work. You love the shit? Okay, see? You gonna get that stuff. 
I mean, it's just like for me, it's just not no. Like for instance, I like the Too Faced ones that look like little compacts because that makes sense to me. It makes sense to me from an aesthetic standpoint of makeup because com makeup compact, love it like an old school compact. But food, no. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's it, Mossy, but can I tell you that I can't... Listen, these you, the beauty YouTubers trying to do mukbangs and ASMR, I need them to slow... I, I need y'all to find something more interesting. You know, it's like, I'm starting to see, like, let's just be real. Let's just talk about it. I like, for instance, I was thinking in my head, you know, I am not that person who rushes out unless it's really something that I want. I've gotten to that point where it's something that if I really like it, if I really want it, then I will go get it. And I don't rush myself to do um, reviews or, you know, things like that because I'm I'm just not that person. Maybe I should be more like that. I don't know. Um, Monique, they are on my list. I still have not pulled the trigger on them. I am going to get one of the matte ones and I'm going to get a petite one to try out soon. So I don't know yet. I've heard it's beautiful and it's for makeup artists and all that other stuff. But I haven't gotten it yet. Hold on. Let me tell my child she got to get up. She got to be at work. I got to leave in a minute to take her to work, I think. Hold on. Alrighty, I'm back. Did y'all talk amongst yourselves? Did y'all talk amongst yourselves? Right. Yeah, I was going to get the mats. I wasn't going to get the shimmers. I wasn't going to get the shimmers. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I don't have to drive her to work today. I don't have to go downtown today. So we have more time to talk before I start my day. Before I start my day. So we can all sit here and chill as we begin the day. You know what I did? Okay, so let me tell y'all what I did. There's a video coming up, but it's go I'm going to have to put a disclaimer. You know, sometimes when you do videos, you then look at it and you have to do a disclaimer. Um, You have to do a disclaimer. Yeah, and that's my thing is like, I, I don't... And by the time, um, by the time it comes out, it's like, okay, that's why I've been just doing those reviews where I'm doing a, you know, a, a set of reviews because the reality is, is that I'm not so timely, you know, I'm not so timely that I, like, I feel like I should do a full review on something. If I've used it for a while and I like it, I put my notes on it and then I'll just do a bunch at one time. That way I can just knock them all out as opposed to um, doing something. Um, see, the thing is, Moxie, it's kind of hard to do like the first impression, then a week later for review. You got to keep up with that stuff. And so for me, I know that by getting, like if I'm buying five palettes, I'm not going to get to all of them. So I have to like move them in and out. And so that's why I'm doing that now for me, because then I, I feel like, okay, I've used, at least used it. I'm now, I will try to make sure that I'm doing more looks with them and then I can splice it in, like doing a look like, um, Sabrina does and splice in a, a, a quick look, like an eye look. So you can see what it looks like. That's what I need to make sure I'm doing. But a lot of times I wear things for work. You know, like I'm putting it on to leave the house to go someplace, you know, <laughs> right. Yeah. Stephanie Nicole, she loves her some Vizart. So sometimes I'm just not filming. I'm just not. Um, but, 
what was I trying to say? I lost all my train of thought. Never mind. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's just keep talking. Let's just keep talking. Okay, see, see, people saying it ain't that great. Like I said, I and let's okay, let's not let's be real. I think you know, Stephanie Nicole. Um, lime crime, I like. Yes, I think I'm going to do more get ready me with me's on my live chats because I do like to do them like that. And I think sometimes I am gonna put that in when I'm doing Dee Dee. Uh, you know, I am going to put that in more often. I, I'm going to try. Let me say, I'm going to try to do one once a week. At least one get ready with me live once a week. And what I have found is for me is like my, what works for me on my channel isn't necessarily what is the norm. Oh, that's what Kevin James, hold up. That's what Kevin James Bennett put. That's what KJB put in his thing. Hold up, let me say this. When y'all saying this, when you just said that about that big damn, that pro palette, that was one of the palettes that Kevin James Bennett said was so fabulous. Yes, he put that in particular in one of his. <laughs> he said that you needed to have that, if you're going to be a pro, that's one of the ones you should get. I promise you he did. I promise you he did. Because I was like, so, because like somebody said, you know, they, they got in their feelings. They were like, you know, some, what if you can't afford, they, he was like, you can afford this. This is this. You should just save them your money and get this. If you get one thing a month, you'll have a good, you'll have a good, you know, kid. And he's mentioned that in particular, the Visor Grand, Mega Grand Pro Stupendous Fabulous Palette. The Mega Grand Pro, Pro Stupendous Fabulous Palette. He did mention it. I'm just saying he did. He surely did. He was like, yes, you need to have this in your life. I think the indie brands are too. I think he is too. Right, exactly, exactly, y'all, exactly. But let's be real. Stephanie Nicole was in their pocket too. Stephanie Nicole was in their pocket. Fight me on that one. It's like y'all need to quit lying to us. Yep. Right. See, I'm not a pro. Now, what I like. What's so, it's kind of sad that you really can't, you know, because everybody, I mean, let's be, be honest. Um, right. We, look, look, look. That's why, that's why I always be sitting over here because then that chick would be like, fuck all of you all. <laughs> it really does. I mean, integrity is nice, but when it comes down to your money, you know, people going to go for that money. They're going to go for that money. Let's just be real. Oh my God. When I see somebody's age sometimes, I'll be like, y'all only that old? Oh my God. I thought you were And I and and but that's why I had to really think through that Sephora thing. Because it was like I was I was looking at it like and no real talk. I was looking at it like, man, this could do, be good for my channel. This could be good for what I'm doing right now. I should really try. Let me put my best foot forward. Maybe I could get it, you know, with because listen, I'm a great writer. I can market my damn self. But I said, but will that be being honest about things? So now I'm be sitting up here hawking Sephora when I barely go in that damn store. And to be quite honest. You know, I'm I'm really kind of not gonna be shopping there. I'm gonna be hitting Nordstrom's more. Exactly, Lily. You know, I'm gonna be hitting Nordstrom's more. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, exactly. Um, I think I'm gonna be hitting Nordstrom's more because, and the reason why I say that, um, a because so okay. So did y'all know? I just found this out from my friend Kimberly because she was getting it. If you get that hundred dollar card from them, use your points and get the hundred dollars. Um, um, 
you can't use it on the VIB sale. Wow, they accuse you of stealing. Wow. Yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah. If you get one of them $100, use your points to get that $100 thing, you cannot use it on the VIB sale. Nope. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Yep. You cannot. And I am feel like this. I like getting some rewards for that money I'm spending. Right. Yeah. So I'd rather go to Nordstrom's because Nordstrom's has almost everything that Sephora has. And Nordstrom always has great gift with purchases. Because this whole thing where you got to use points to get samples is insane to me. Give a, just give the shit when, you know, do gift with purchases like everybody else does, but Sephora doesn't do that. They make you get points for it, which is crazy to me. Fuck you. No, no, no. If I'm going to, you know, because Nordstrom's has great gift with purchases. They have exclusives. Right. Exactly. You're paying for samples that, and when you can walk into Ulta and say, hey, y'all got some samples when you checking out. And depend, and if you get the right person, they actually give you the samples like they should. Because some of them are act like they, 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 some of them act like they're their samples. But I think that's because before, because they can take some extras home. I believe that. Right, exactly. It's like, come on, can, see. I mean, but you stand in line when you're in... What do you mean you stand in line? You stand in line when you're in North, Sephora. Are you talking about buying online? Because... Huh. Right? Because <laughs> I've had some... I don't know. Bitch, do you see I'm diamond? Do you see that I'm diamond? Clearly, I spend a lot of money in this bitch. Every time I come in here, you should be giving me some shit. You should be like, oh, she diamond. Let me throw some shit in there. It depends on your altar because like there's, we got old, I got some altars that will just give you samples. If you, if you say, Hey, can I get a sample? Some will just give them to you. Some will act like, Oh no, bitch, y'all got a, a cabinet full of them. Yeah. I know they trying to hold on to them and give them to their friends. Right. Exactly. She's on the bathroom. Okay, y'all, I got to go pee from all this water and tea. I'll be right back. Remember, Dee Dee, we was talking about this? Nah, I got to go. My bladder was like, bitch, if you do not release me from my purgatory. I'm actually doing much better because I'm slowing myself down and going, okay, no. However, Wet n' Wild does have 40% off, so I'm about to keep, I'm about to, but it's like you hit them off, you, you knock them off and it's like $30, so I'm okay with that. You know, if I'm going to knock you off, I need a good sale. I need a good sale to make it worth my while now. And I'm just looking at stuff now and going, do I really need it? Dry hair shampoo. See, that's something that I don't need. <laughs> I don't do no dry hair shampoo, so I don't know about that.
I mean, I do have my moments when I go and say, I want to buy something, but I'm doing better because I'm not actually buying. I'll think that and then I'll say, nah, because now I'm more like, okay, this is exactly what I want. I'm not going to go in the, like, for instance, I've been on the hunt because I'm being cheap. I've been trying to see this, um, does Walgreens have the new Milani bronzers, you know, um, because I want them. And then they got the buy two, get one free, you know, buy the, get the third free sale. Right. But I can't find them. So I'm like, but, and I picked up other stuff like, oh, I should get this. But I'm like, no, that's not what you want. And so that's, a, I'm kind of like shifting that to say that to myself. As you should. We should celebrate when we save some money. That's why I didn't buy the chocolate gold, though. Because I was going to buy the chocolate gold based on it was on sale. And it was like, do I really want it? Right. Right. So I'm like, do I, as it really... But they all do that. No, that's not on the site either. I checked the site. That's why I was looking at the stores. I said, because sometimes the stuff won't be on the site, but it'll be in the store. So it wasn't on either one. But yeah, I was like, no, nah, I don't need that chocolate gold. I got enough shimmers in my life. It will be up Sunday. My birthday wish, um, it will be up Sunday because I'm going to be, uh, that'll be my Sunday premiere. It will be my birthday wish list. I think I'm going to do a get ready with me birthday wish list. It's just going to encompass a whole lot of shit in one thing. This is my favorite one. But like I said, a lot of the stuff I'm looking at is indie. Oh, wow. Okay. Because I know that I've seen... Yeah, because I noticed like some place, they're like, oh, they had it out early. Girl, and I'm looking around. Chicago, they don't play that. Chicago, they do not play that. I'm assuming she works at Walgreens. Oh, but you know who does that? Who's good for that? Just so y'all know. Old Navy is good for that. Old Navy takes stuff off of sale before they do a big sale. Just so you know. Because my daughter used to work there. So like Black Friday... And they're doing all of that, you know, when they had the big sale. What they do is don't have any clearance out. They only have regular price stuff out. Have you noticed that? You know, you're not going to find stuff that's like super on clearance that day because they pull it all and only want to have regular prices out. So when they do the discount. Then they can, you know, so, so the discount is only going to be on, so it's not like you're getting clearance at like this pricing point. No, no, no. Yeah. Cause like there's a, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. But they, yeah, they make sure that you don't get like the sales stuff on those series deep discounts it's at least in the stores um because b used to work for them that was her first was that her first retail yeah, that was her first retail job she worked at old navy no banana republic then she worked at old navy um and then she worked for macy's when she and then she worked for uh, oh mm-hmm Right. Yeah, and that's the way these places do. Oh. Oh, oh. Right. See, there you go. So he, 
So there you go. So maybe you, he was supposed to leave so you could be around your your 42-year-old multimillionaire owner. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, retail, folks be losing their mind in these jobs and they, they forget who you are, what you're doing, and they're like, I think I can't wait to use this. What's the ingredients in here? Right, exactly. Okay, okay. Right, Ashley. That's the thing is that now I'm looking at things more so like, okay, do I really want it? Uh, wow. That's, yeah, that's messed up, Moxie. That's messed up. Um, that's why um, I want to do, that's why I'm in more um, thinking more about what I'm spending and to be quite honest, so many of the um, indie brands, they're more inexpensive. Their pricing is because they're trying to get out there. Um, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to quit. 38 cents more than the new high as hell. Yeah, you're supposed to be gone. And so that's why. So I haven't been buying as much because, you know, it can be like, let me just get it all. And I'm slowing myself down. Because, like, what I bought so far this month isn't that much. I haven't bought that much this month. This March now. I haven't really bought that much. And um, I'm not planning on it. I'm, like, there's a few things I want on the Ulta 21 Days. Of, and, I, and I said I'm going to do a video like that. My Ulta 21 Days of Beauty haul and what I didn't buy. Right. So that's what I'm looking at now. It's like I'm going to... Uh, because there's some things that I was going to buy just because... And then, because like I said, I was going to buy that and I was going to buy that tart toasted. But then I had to say to myself, I'm not going to use that thing. Even though I do want a neutral palette, I've looked at that tartlet toasted too many times and said, no, that shit. I think it's kind of whack on some things, but it isn't. Like the fix, there are certain things that I want and I'm okay with that because I've, I, with them not having as much, more money is staying, um, is staying in my pocket. You know, so I'm okay with it because I'm not, I'm not like, okay, I want this. I want this. I want this. I want this. There's a few things that I want that I know I'm going to get. Right. Right. It's, it's too bad that you can have left that store and gone to another one that might have actually let you grow with them. Moxie, that, that would have been, you know what I'm saying? That would have been nice. Um, but yeah, because I do like, yeah, because their beauty thing is going. Oh, that, now that sucks. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing is so, however, I do like that new palette that they have that they just came out with that says Sephora, Lily. <laughs> it, nah, I could agree with that. I haven't worked in retail, though. Since I was super young. I stopped working in retail like when I was in my teens. Yeah. Yeah, that I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I think I want that, you know. I think that one's cute, that little palette. But I saw a palette on their site that I had never seen. Hold on. I was looking on the Tarte site. And I was like, where did this little cutie come from? Hold on. Let me see if y'all have seen this before. I'm about to pull it up. Because I was like, where did this cutie come from? Okay, so Lily, tell me the truth. Do I need to get the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist? Because I was thinking about getting it for comparison to my newer stuff. I think I might, though. I might get the small one. Just to compare it to the other ones that I have. Because I have a lot of mist, but I ain't spent that much. Because everybody's like, oh my God, it's just the best thing ever. You still want the wine brush? I think the wine brush is gone. No. Hold on. Let me show you what I saw. And I was like, this is a little cutie. And I have not heard anything about it. Let me see. Can I find it again? What is this? They got some multitasking foundation. What is this called? <laughs> Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. What the hell is this? Okay, here it is. Um, 
Let me go into the eyeshadow palettes because I saw I was like, well, this is a little cute, y'all. Okay, that's not not that's that rainforest of the sea. Uh no thanks. Come on, get me off of here. Stop. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, okay, this is the one that I've never heard. I was gonna get that one too. Just get the two small ones. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all this. Now I don't know if I want it, but I was like, no one, I have heard absolutely nothing about this. I'm like, okay. Have y'all heard of the Rainforest of the Sea Sizzle palette? I was like, I ain't heard of this at all, y'all. Okay. I was just curious because I ain't heard about it. Uh, but I'm saying I haven't seen on Trim Mood. I haven't seen on anybody's. Uh, did they? I, I've never heard of it. How long has this been out? See, I ain't seen this at all. I missed, I missed this one. I missed this one. Has it been out forever? Okay, okay. Cause see, I don't keep I don't keep up with Tart that much. I don't keep up with Tart to the point that I would know that. Okay. I only see. She said that I was asking about the dewy skin mist. Okay, so now let me see. Let's see this. Do I really need this pro, pro remix? Let's just talk about this. Let's just talk about it. This Tarte Pro Mix. I wasn't buying it. I was just saying it. No. Do I really need this Tarte Remix? I'm very confused. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, because I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I mean, let's be honest. I barely use the TARDIS Pro, but it's because I got so much shit. That's why I'm trying to do more of my, shop my stash. That's why I'm shopping my stash more. I'm shopping my stash more. And let me say this. Do not buy the Cover Effects Shimmer Bales. I'm going to talk about it when I talk about my, um, my liquids and creams. Do not buy that. For God's sake. Okay, for God's sake, do not buy those Jelly Much eyeshadows. Those are trash. Yes, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know right now, <laughs> Dee Dee. Um, it's around 100 and something. I'm probably less than 100. I don't know. I have to count again. I haven't counted them lately. No. Okay, the reason why I say don't buy them now, I know they're going on half price. I don't think they're worth the half price. The reason why I say it's not that the colors are not are bad. They don't last long on your eyes. You know, um, the shimmers, if you don't mind that they're going to, like, go away, because I do not have oily eyelids, y'all. My, my eyelids are pretty damn normal. But by the end of the day, they'll be really, like, for instance, let me show you. They'll be um, really nice. Like you get them like this, say so you get it. And then, you know, like I might, you know, shear it out just a little bit and it'll be like this. But by the end of the day, it's like this. By the end of the day, it has gone down. So it's really not worth it for the pricing because even half price, they $14 because they're more expensive than the uh, stealing ones. And they don't last that long. It's like you'll have a, a sheer, sheer shimmer by the end of the day. And by the end of the day, no, none of that jelly shit works. It's just a novelty. And but what I'm irritated, here's what I, this is the cover FX shimmer veils. They're cute, but they're not worth it. They're not worth it at all. Might as well get the wet and wild ones. Cause this is like no. Um, 
What are you doing, cat? What's wrong with you? Porch. Porch is do What the fuck is this crazy cat ass doing? Oh shit. We gotta go on a trip for a second. Let me see what this fucking cat is doing. Porch, you done got yourself caught up. I'm gonna show y'all what she's doing. You got caught. You caught. You caught. Okay, let me take care of y'all. I'll be right back. She didn't got her ass caught. See, that's what you get for playing with shit. Come here. What's your call? Come here. Come here. I saved you. You could at least come. Come on. You all right? You good? She got a call. She was messing around with that damn. Right. Thank you, Ashley. Okay, so what happened was she got her claw caught in that uh, where I have it, so I can. Um, right, right. You was in there crying like a baby. Now you don't want to mess with me, okay? She got a claw caught. She was stuck on that. Uh, I have a curtain in between the house, and she was she playing, stuck herself on it. Little claw was stuck. She couldn't get it out. Okay. Now you stalking away like you bad. All right, so. That's okay. So let me go back. Yes, that's what I say because everybody talks about the jelly mush. Oh, they're so nice. Oh, they're so I'm like, so what, what is it? You use it the one time and you never open them again because those are worse. Um, I they are worse. I like the super shots last. The super shots for everything they say, they, they always say the super shots dry out. They're not drying out as fast as them damn jelly mushes have dried out on me. I opened them up maybe twice and I made sure they were closed. So I'm like, so what the hell happened that they, they went that bad that quick? I'm like, so I'm the only person that's gotten some jelly munches that, act, that have dried out. I'm the only person because they're like, oh my God, the jelly munches. See, I like the super shots better than the jelly munches. I like the finish on the jelly munches. But mine, they dried out so fucking quick. I don't know. I used them once. Once. And the bitches is now like done. Well, maybe I got a bad batch then. Because you said yours. How long? Because you, you got yours before me. I don't know. I ain't fucking with them damn things. So yours happened the same thing, Moxie? Because yeah, that's the same thing that happened to me. That's the same exact thing that happened to me. Yeah, see, I like the super shot. I like the super shots. And I will say I bought yours was time for. Okay, see, I real I'd be real pissed off because that is for real money. Um I I like the shimmer super shots because I have some matte ones. And I don't think matte super shots make sense. Because I, I know people say they're so easy to blend. I can't blend them. See, I don't have any problem as long as it's just like a little shimmer. I ain't got no problem with that. Mm. Yes, time for money. We, I'm taking that back and I'm throwing it at the counter. Give me my fucking money back. <laughs> see, I see the, the only thing I say is like, I really am not a big fan of the matte super shocks because that I'm going to have a problem with. It's trying to put on a mat but if i'm just blending a like for me the super shocks are like a, a extra layer so i don't mind doing them because these i'm just gonna pat on top of something or on my lid or something like that but the mats no because i'm I, that's too much work i gotta check my glazing glosses because i had the same problem with the glazing glosses and these are the first ones that came out i hope they have reformulated them because i do like their colors and uh, 
And see, these are staying better than the jelly munches. So I'm going to start playing with these more. Because I'm like, I toss them. Because let's see how this one looks. This is the last one I have that is not dead. But if you're doing the jelly munches, ain't you putting it on with your finger? How you putting it on? See, this is the only one that's still intact, is this one. This is the only one. <laughs> this is the only one that's still intact, is that one. Otherwise, yeah, they... Now, let me say this. This one has the topper. Those other three didn't have toppers on them. And they didn't have them when I got them. They were the ones that you could see the color out of. So maybe that's the problem that they made those so you could see the color and it dries them out. Because this one does have the topper on it and it is still good. I will say that. Oh, just as a liner. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, so th maybe that's what it is. Because that's the one that has the topper. The other ones didn't really have, but did they? No, they did. No, maybe they didn't. Right. Maybe they did. I'm looking at this one. This is the uh, Mark, G J Mark Jacobs. The Mark Jacobs one. The sequins one that he does. Yeah, this is still good. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it is gorgeous, but yeah, it is pretty though. That's a motherfucking pretty one though. I ain't gonna lie. I want to try the Tarte one. Tarte has some newer ones that I heard about. They might be pretty. I might try the Wet n Wild. I might try the Wet n Wild ones because I tend to think that Wet n Wild has better quality on certain things when it comes down to their packaging and making sure that things last. I think Wet n Wild does a pretty good job and they 40% off. So I might grab a couple of those to try theirs out since they got the 40% off sale to the end of the, um, to the end of the month. Yeah. I mean, you cannot go wrong with Wet n Wild because they are so good with packaging, with how they put together things. I mean, come on now. Their stamping is just adorable. Just adorable. Yeah, Wet n Wild been on it. Wet n Wild is coming for them. And for a 40% off sale on everything, the entire site. Yes, ma'am. I'm getting some. I love the cap suit high shine lips, but you know I do because I got them all. I love them. Yeah, I like those. Jordana's come out with some too. Um... And you know what is getting to the this point with me? It's hard for me to justify buying higher end lip products with such good lip products in the drugstore now. You know, it used to be a day when I didn't wear nothing but MAC. Yeah, Jordana is slept on. I didn't wear anything but MAC. You couldn't get me a, a, anything but MAC. Hi, Lexi, how are you? You couldn't get me a shit but MAC, especially lip colors. Now I'd be like... Please, I can go get this. Don't get me wrong. I love ABH. And I love ABH because ABH always having to buy one, get one free sale on her lippies. So there you have it. And usually, you know what's interesting, Didi? They go back and forth because sometimes Juvia's Place will do a reveal and that baby comes out right away. Like the tribe. The tribe... The tribe was like, boom, here it is, boom, it's on sale. This one, now they're making us wait forever. It's like, come on now. What do we think that palette's going to be? Everybody's saying it's probably going to be a highlighter palette. I hope not because I'm really not into highlighter palettes that much. I'm not as much into them as I was. I'm kind of more into individual highlighters now because at least with an individual highlighter, I get the color I want. 
Oh, that's what she said it would be? Okay, my bad. Okay, okay. That's what she said. Because it's going to be, and I get it, it's going to be very highly pigmented. We know that it is. But I'm more than likely two of them shades I ain't going to be able to wear. Now, for the price, it might not be so bad because we know it's not going to have a bad price point. But I don't know. I'm I'm going back and forth on it. I'm going back and forth. I have to say, I do love these color rain lipsticks I got, though. These color rain lipsticks, it's like now I don't feel the need to pay over $20 for lipstick. I'm pushing it when I pay $18. I'll be like, dang, is this stuff $18? Oh, okay. Because I would really like her to do a nice, cool tone. Right, color drain. <laughs> right, because she didn't drain my pockets. Miss Cutler Rain has drained my pockets. <gasps> oh no, I'm so sorry, Dee Dee. I'm so sorry. Let us know how you are. Let us know how how you are. Prayers to you, hugs and love to you and your family. Hugs and love to you and your family, love. I'm check on you. By the way. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, don't you hate when you hear stuff like that? You be like, oh, oh. Did they do that? Oh, oh my goodness. Tati, Tati, Tati. Tati, Tati, Tati. Whole thing. So what are we having for breakfast, everybody? I know what I'm having. I know what I'm having. B got me them Asian nachos last night, but I didn't eat them. I was passed out. So I got Asian nachos and beignets for breakfast. Talk about some fat shit. I'm going to be good for the rest of the day, but... She's like, I got your beignets. I'm like, she's Satan sometimes. She is Satan, I tell you. Just say, say, just devil. She's a devil child some days. You've never had those before? They're basically, they're just basically um, fancy named donuts. They're just fancy named donuts. That's all. Okay, so I got this on the floor. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, they're just fancy donuts. And when you get them at Grand Lux, they give you like some chocolate dipping sauce. They give you a little raspberry sauce and a vanilla sauce, I think it is. So you can dip them in. And so they're basically powdered. They're donuts dusted with sugar. And then you dip them in some sauce. And that's what they are. That's what they are. There she is. I was looking for her. What spray is this? Girl, this is this. This is this Walgreens hydrating facial mist. Girl, you want this. You want this. It has cucumber, rose water, and hyaluronic acid. This is a really good hydrating facial mist. And it's $5.99 at Walgreens. I don't know if you can get it, if you can get it in the store. I haven't seen it in the store. I bought it online. Okay, y'all, we've been on here. What time is it? Oh my goodness, it's 7.48 in the morning here. I guess it's time for us to start our day. I got to recharge so I can video because I got some, oh, I got to put this on the thing too. Um, so I got to I gotta recharge. Yes, it's the Walgreens brand, girl, see? You, oh, y'all can't see her. I'm looking at her in the mirror. Now you want to be all, get off my bra. Hello. Oh, cat. But yeah, girl, try this. You will like it. Now, the only thing is, the Olay one has a better mister. This mister is terrible. It's one of those super cheap ones. You got to put it real far away. You got to put this real far away to get a decent spray. Are you? Good for you. Somebody I tried recently and I was like, what the hell? Was it this one? Was it this one? 
somebody I tried, and I was like, what the hell is going on with the spray? I might need to soak it. Was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. Yeah, it kind of got a little splash to it. You just got to put it real far away. This is that Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I got to play with this one and see how this is. Um, and then I got the Anti-Shine Fixing Spray. This is summertime. This is right now. This. Um, which one? This one or that one? These are Catrice. These are those Catrice Prime and Fines. These are Catrice. These are the Prime and Fines Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. And this is the Anti-Shine Fixing Spray. However, I do need to... Okay, so you know I'm buying a lot of... No, nah, no, nah, that was the Catrice. The, the Milani one has a terrible sprayer. Terrible sprayer. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for that Anti-Shine for something. Mm-hmm. That's they all think everywhere is their bed. This wench thinks everything is her bed. Don't leave. But the funny... <laughs> but they don't want their cat bed. I bought this half a cat bed. She don't fucks with the cat bed. It's a nice little cat bed. She don't want that. She want everything else. Okay, I got to go. I'm starving. Let's get off of here. We've been on here for almost two hours as always. See y'all tomorrow morning. I will do my Sunday morning. I like these little Sunday morning chats. Get a trial size prayer. Okay, I will. Um, I like our little morning chats. These are fun. I always and I always see new people, you know. Love y'all. Oh, I might have to put something like that in it. Love y'all, love y'all. Yeah, because the Milani one is terrible. Absolutely trash. It's a good spray. It's a good setting spray, but it ain't, it's a terrible one. So y'all have a great day. I will be filming. I gotta get my stuff together. I guess got to get my stuff together. Love y'all all. It's always a great time when we hang out. So see y'all later. See y'all tomorrow morning because y'all know this is my weekend thing. I'm up early. Shit.